Hello there, peeps. This is Wadakita the Aspie Gamer once again, playing some King of Fighters, because this is a game I've kind of been interested in recently. I'm gonna wait again to skip the intro. I'm gonna do endless mode as I give an update on what's been happening. So, there's two characters I decided to choose between for endless mode for this video. They were Chrysalid and Ignis, and Chrysalid won. I'll do Ignis another time. <clears throat> so, over the past uh, few weeks, I've been working on my senior project, which is, uh, which was, uh, Su Super Smash Bros. Brawl tournament. It ended up being a small tournament with only four players, but, well, it's a tournament nonetheless. And, well, that's another step in my senior project, though. So that's one more... I kind of had to do this in order to graduate, so yeah, that's good. So, like I said, it's a bra it was a brawl tournament, and then afterwards, uh, originally the tournament was gonna be a fundraiser for Smash from Smash. Like, uh, it would be you would have to pay to get in. Well, complications made that a bit difficult, uh, so we made it free. But we still raised some money for Spare Some Frothes. Did I say Spare Some Smash? That's the name of the tournament. <laughs> I, no, the charity is called Spare Some Frothes. But yeah, we still raised some money, so that's very nice. It's definitely been a hard, hard process, but at least now it's done. And hosting a Brawl tournament has always been a personal dream of mine, so... Hey, I can say I've done that now. Uh, so yeah, and like I said about, so next, next subject, like I said about how I've been interested in King of Fighters recently, it started when, uh, someone on the Galaxy Trail forum wouldn't stop talking about King of Fighters as it got annoying after a while, and it only figures, games that I start to dislike from how they're represented in my eyes, uh, as in that I can basically know nothing about, because my friends won't shut up about them, I tend to like when I play for myself. So, yeah, that's the story behind that. Is that unguardable? <laughs> okay, whatever. But yeah, I uh, was gifted King of Fighters 2002 and 98 uh, from said friend, and yeah, I'm enjoying both of them. Very much. Well, actually, I'm enjoying 2002 Ultimate Unlimited Match more because there's characters I can actually play as in this. 98, it's a bit harder. Ouch. Okay, come on. You're dying, Benny Morrow. Huh. So, yeah. And also, I actually bought King of Fighters 13, uh, a few, <laughs> last Saturday. And that's a pretty big deal, because there's only three non- not counting, uh, Jump Ultimate Stars or any of the Super Smash Bros. games, fighting games that I've actually bought in my time. Because others I've gotten for free, either Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition in, from Games with Gold, and most of the others are just... Uh, actually all the others that I got for free are just from Steam gifts. So the fact that I bought a, that I like the fine game enough to buy it, I'd say that's a pretty big deal. Which means I don't get that much. Uh, anyways, so on the day I bought King of Fighters 13, oh yeah, I should probably talk about which character I like in it. So, uh, I'm just, I like playing as Leona and Kula, and uh, in this game I like playing as Whip, and she's my, currently my favorite non-boss character. In 13, I also like Yuri a bit in the field. Especially with how I can just spam her dash grab multi-slap move on Saiki. I can't believe that actually works. Uh, so on the day that I bought King of Fighters 13, my friend Luigi Square, he goes by Sonic Park now, gifted me a game called Chantelise. 
it seems fun, and I'm enjoying it, but it does suffer from some obvious design flaws. But overall, it seems like a fun game. I haven't gotten very far into it, but I think I'm gonna enjoy it. So, next thing. So I, so I realized that there's some things I forgot in Undertale uh, when I did my initial playthrough. I just wanted to be done with that because, let's face it, that is a very long project. Well, not a very long. You get the idea. It's, I, I just wanted to be done with the game for now. There are some things that other that I wanted to record. Like, I'm considering doing the Sands Battle for real sometime. But the real thing that I w forgot about was the secret bosses. There are two secret bosses in the game, and I forgot to fight them. I think, uh, given the, one of the constraints for one of them, I think it's good that I forgot, and I'll just uh, save it for later on. It has to do with a certain date and time. People, some people know what I'm talking about when I say that. So I think I'll just save the secret bosses for when that time comes. But yeah. So that's the uh, behind that. I wanted to be done with the game for now, but there's more to come later on. Overkill. Beautiful overkill. <laughs> I can see why Krizala is the top in the band here for this game. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. Right then, so there's another game for free on Steam that I tried recently, called Eternal Senia. Uh, I'm sure uh, that it's, uh, that some people have heard of it by now. It's a game made in RPG Maker, originally Taiwanese, and it got a translation in, in the form of Steam. It's free because it uses some, uh some copyrighted content in form of sound effects and, and other things like that, I believe. Maybe some visual effects. Overall, I, I liked it enough that I think I'm gonna do a playthrough of it sometime. Okay, you're getting... EX... whatever this move is called. And... Yeah, okay, no axe kick drop, oh well. That's one of my favorite things to do as Grizzala, just grab them and axe kick drop them. Case in, case in point, axe kick drop. <laughs> I have to wonder if he can actually grab Ignis and Ignis and whip with that uh, hitbox on his hand. Uh, okay, so now I'll talk a bit about my upcoming projects now that I've explained everything that's been happening. Well, there's, uh, before I get into that, there's still a bit I have to do before I can graduate. I have to focus on, uh, getting through the rest of the school year and, uh, turning off Skype real quick. Let me do that real quick. Right then, so I still have to focus on getting through the rest of the school year, and I have to get some community service hours. It's nothing too bad, but it's a matter of finding what I can do for community service, because, well, uh, it's, it's hard to get me to do community service, not out of, uh, hatred of it, just, I just, I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. So now I'll talk about my upcoming projects. 
so as I said in my last update video, I have uh, my friend Mew's pseudo Mario game made in Mario Maker up next. Uh, given my uh, usual lack of skill with Mario games and uh, the length of uh, his game, it's definitely going to take a while. Combined with everything that goes on outside. I'm not used to Yamazaki's moveset, so I don't know what that was. <laughs> but yeah, that's likely going to take a while. Mario Maker got a recent update, so while I've played through some of his game already, I'm going to... He's updated uh, it a bit, and so... Uh... Wow, that interception! So I'm gonna be blind to those tanks. It's gonna be a... Semi-blind run, I guess. Maybe... I, I still gotta figure out exactly how I'm going to do it. I think what I'm gonna do is... Uh, make it kind of... Blind, but only include my... Uh... Finished attempt. My successful attempts. I think that'll be a good way to do it, because I don't want to just make it a blind run as usual. And then after, uh, Mew's Mario Maker game, and that I'm dubbing Mew Mew Mario, that's what the name of the project's gonna be, by the way. I'm going to do a secret project, which is a blind run of an indie game that is rather popular, that I only recently played, that I've liked. I will, obviously I will not say which game it is. All I'm gonna say is that to my friends who look at my channel, maybe, I don't know if they actually look at my channel, but it is not Freedom Planet, I've already played that, and I set up mine, so, yeah. Feel free to guess what game it is. I won't say until it's time, though. So, about this year's Halloween project, it's going to be Corpse Party Blood Covered. At least that's the plan. I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to, uh, actually have... <clears throat> Given certain things in the game, I've heard it's a lot more dark uh, than the other Corpse Party games that I've played. So far, and I've gotten up to Chapter 3, I haven't encountered anything that will make me absolutely not want to upload it. At least not uh, from what I expected that would make me not want to upload it. There's, I'm having some issues with the game and I have... I, I've been forced to use a spoiler-free walkthrough for the game. In that it tells me what to do, but it doesn't tell me... It, like, it tells me where to go, but it doesn't tell me what happens in the story, since, well, the story is one of the most important parts of the game. It's just so puzzle <clears throat> puzzles in the game are just so unclear that I'm having it... that I'm kind of forced to rely on the walkthrough. And I'm only checking the walkthrough when I absolutely can't figure out what to do next, and that is a very common occurrence. Okay. The placement of some of, the, of some of the bad endings, too, is just in the way it's hand, they're handled. I think it could have been done so much better, but I'll go into more on that later on. Just, uh, yeah. It's a process. If at any point I do feel that I do not want to upload Corpse Party Blood Covered, I'll switch to the next fan game in the series, Corpse Party F. But, yeah. So much overkill. I love it. So, regarding the Kirby's Adventure Perfect runs, I... The thing about those is I have to be in a place where I want to do that. 
currently, I don't know when I'll be into that, but it's a project I want to work on, but I just have to be in the right mindset for that. Ouch. So, I'll continue them later on when I feel like doing them. It is a ser- the Kirby Perfect Run series is a series I want to do, and I know I can do it with patience. But it's a matter of me being up to the, up to doing that. Well, that was a fail. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. So. I think I'll keep this going until... and see how far I can get. My current record is 61, or actually 62, so let's see if I can surpass it. Okay, that was bad. Not not anywhere close to my record. Oh well. Game over. So yeah, with that, thank you very much for watching and look forward to Mew Mew Mario coming soon. And with that, bye ya.